Hey everyone, hi, how are you? For those of you who do not know me, hi, my name is Winter. I'm so sorry, I'm starting to cry already. My heart is just feeling so heavy uh, right now. And um, so I'm just going to be a little vulnerable with you guys right now, if you don't mind. I mean, if you would like, you can skip ahead to the reading. But um, I just uh, lost um, another friend of mine uh, that uh, I thought was my friend who had been also a client for three years <laughs> and um, they uh, so anyways it's been really difficult today like um, a lot of emotions that are almost making me feel like I'm hung over and I I don't drink um, like very very rarely will I even have a glass of wine so like <laughs> that's the way that I feel like hung over like it's just it's so disheartening when you give so much of yourself to someone, you know, um, I even, uh, gave like free, free readings to this friend. And it's just, um, very, very lonely, hurtful place. And so I really just needed a reading and, um, I thought that if there was anybody else that is kind of dealing with the same thing, that maybe you would like to be included in this reading. Um, and if you're not feeling that way right now, then, you know, maybe you'll still like gain something from this reading, you know, to uh, reflect on uh, in the past or, you know, maybe to um, for for the future. Um, but yeah, like I can feel like my heart racing and a lot of anxiety. And so I, you know, just working on grounding my energy today and really processing these emotions. So please bear with me as I, you know, just open myself up to be very vulnerable like this in front of you guys. And um, I really... I'm still trying to decide if I even want to post this because I really just don't want to like bring anybody down. But that's the whole point of this reading is to share these raw emotions with you guys and to see that readers like we we do get hurt and like we're not always cheerful and positive and just think positive like you can't expect to be that way like you you're going to get hurt you're going to get pissed off you know you're going to be depressed and so that's why um spiritual work is like so important to me because it is like a way to help it is a tool you know tarot and oracle they're tools to help us process that so maybe this seeing this firsthand and will help in some way i don't know but maybe it's selfish reasons for me to do this reading right now to share this with you but i hope it doesn't come across as that way i don't know but i just know that i really really need this and i and i don't know if anybody else needs it either but i just um really just wanted to to share this with you guys I don't know, I'm feeling a little nauseous right now by by both my emotions and then on top and then you know sharing this this side with you guys. So um but let me go put this incense up and we'll get started. I'm just gonna set it over here. So please bear with me um throughout this reading and I'm gonna do my best not to not to cry throughout the whole thing, you guys, but like I have seriously been in tears um, all morning and um, okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to take a moment, ground my energy. I'm going to call in spirit and we'll get started. Okay. Whew. So if you'd like to just envision a healing 
light full of unconditional love enveloping you breathe that light in and just command your body to ground you can envision that there are roots growing from your feet deep into the earth imagine that angel wings are surrounding you, comforting you, protecting you. I call upon divine source energy, divine Holy Spirit, spirit guides, angels, archangels, guardian angels, ascended masters of love and light, ancestors of the highest good, angelic, cosmic, galactic, celestial beings, and higher light beings to guide, bless, and protect this reading, myself, and each and every soul that finds their way here. May everyone involved in this reading feel safe, loved, and connected to the all there is. May the messages received here today be of value and really make a difference in mine and other people's lives. May I see, hear, feel, and know the messages that you have today and convey them in such a way as to enlighten, inspire, and heal. I thank you for the accuracy of the cards that are used here today and the accuracy on my part as well to channel honest, trustworthy answers and messages that come only from the divine, that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none, with peace, love, light, and gratitude. So it is. Namaste. <clears throat> so, you guys, let me just get a sip of water. So sorry, you guys. I'll just cut that off. I don't know if you guys could hear that. I'm going to have to go unlock the door in just a second. If you, uh, if you guys will bear with me, it won't take me, but like 20, 30 seconds to go unlock the door. I'm going to pull a couple cards for it first. So look, we've got metamorphosis and fortitude, and it says you must let go of limitations in order to obtain all you want. Opportunities start to appear once you begin to modify and alter your perspective. And then the fortitude, which is card number 12, which would reduce to a three. And we've got card number 35 over here. So you, um, this is like the, this would be um, 11 altogether, but you may be seeing threes or fives. And it says, do not, do not cede your power to forces that are not in your best interest. As you gain more insight into the role that emotions play, you may improve the world that you live in. Oh, look at, she knows, look, she's trying so hard, like, to sh uh, show me love. <laughs> rubbing all up on me and you guys know she she doesn't jump up here all that often i mean she does but she's sniffing around on my mic show me clearly spirit what messages you have for me and any and all souls that find their way here what message oh she's she's trying to get up on my shoulder Aki, <laughs> she's been so clingy to me that all morning. 
<تصفيق> هكية messages do you have for me spirit and what messages do you have for me and any and all souls that need to hear this message okay we got one deception look card number 22 you may be seeing twos as well but um you may share power Fairly and effectively without taking from others or seeding your own. Try a solution that allows for more honesty rather than deception. You may have also been dealing with some deception is something that I'm picking up as well. Um, hold on, you guys. Let me go unlock the door real quick. Um, and then I will tell you what I'm getting from that. I'm so sorry. I don't know if you guys can still hear me because I got the mic on. So I'm just walking across my apartment right now. If you guys can even still hear me to unlock the door for. Okay. All right. I got the door unlocked. I don't even know if you guys can still hear me. Hecky followed me here. She's like right on my heels. I don't know if you guys can still hear me, but okay. I'm walking back in here. I'm back in the little studio. Okay. All right. I'm going to look at the little book where it says deception. Uh, so twos may be significant, but twos are also like the number two can represent like partnership so but it um it says this may be a sign that you are experiencing problems because of opposing viewpoints so you and another person may be having um opposing views and it could be re like regarding a situation at hand maybe you have like one particular view or belief and then there's another person that has another view or belief maybe it's about you it could be like this person has some sort of opinion about you and you know or like there's some sort of misunderstanding is what i'm getting from what it's saying here in the book and it says here it could be an indication that either you or someone else are attempting to force your views ideas uh, and opinions on others and uh, running into disagreement so there could be like some sort of disagreement or conflict between you and another person or like you and just like um, society um, or just like a group of individuals may be trying to force their views or beliefs upon you or there's someone here that has a view or opinion about you and something that you did or didn't do or something something here that some sort of situation that maybe has happened which I totally relate to. And this person is not like seeing um, clearly or maybe not seeing your side clearly, or maybe there's someone else that is like trying to instigate or bring about some sort of deception about you. Um, and spirit is saying that, um, you know, to just be cautious to um, uh, going about this, to prevent any further challenges or any further conflict or like, you know, handling disagreements in a mature, you know, fashion. Um, you know, really connecting with other people that truly see you for who you are, connecting with your tribe, you know, finding your people that really share your beliefs that, you know, see you for who you really are. I, so like if you have felt outcasted in some sort of way or if, you know, there are people that just don't understand you or even if it's like your own family or, you know, friends or society or relationships uh, like romantic relationships. Like spirit is saying that don't try to beg or force people to see you for who you really are. Those people who have this um, this grossly distorted view of you don't 
really deserve you anyways. And if they can't see, um, if they can't see that beautiful light in you, you know, if those friends or family members or romantic partners can't really grasp how truly precious you are, then, then they're not worthy to, to be in your light anyways. You know, um, this is about you, like staying true to yourself, no matter what, you know, staying true to who you are, being true to yourself and your convictions and not allow anyone else to make you second guess yourself or, or over, or, you know, question your own beliefs or, or anything like that, allowing yourself to freely express your thoughts and feelings, you know, recognize that other people have their own values and beliefs and that's fine. And if people want to believe this or that, allow them to, even if it's, um, wrong, <laughs> You know, because what is that old saying to argue with a fool only makes you a fool. Um, so it's like, even though it, it, it's a difficult lesson to learn, it's really important to to stop giving your power away. Thank you, spirit. So to stop giving your power away, you know, don't give your power away to those who don't care to listen to you, who don't care to know who you truly are, who, who only want to like, have you fall in line, who don't the people who get upset when you, when you are nothing, when you're just trying to be honest with them, you know, um, don't, it's a difficult lesson to learn to, to stop giving your power away to those who, who restrict your voice, who are refusing to listen to you or refusing to learn from you, the closed minded people who just don't want to hear you out. Stop fighting a losing battle. Enter the energetic of flow with people who really share your viewpoints, who, who see you for the amazing loving person that you truly, truly are. <laughs> like even if it's just your pet you may have other people trying to turn people against you as well as something that i'm seeing there may be friends family members who don't just don't get you maybe the only true unconditional love you feel is from either like your children or your fur babies I, I don't know if you guys can see me shuffling um, because Hecate is wanting me to rub her. She's trying to like, she's trying to clear this negative energy. This is what they do. Why when you, you notice when you're sad or you're upset or you're hurting or sick, your pets are always just wanting to love on you. And it's because like they, they're trying to transmute that negative energy and that's what she's trying so hard to do right now. Because you guys know, like, I, I do readings all the time. She's always in, in the room or either in the same room. Her bed is, like, right up underneath my desk. Or she's just right in the living room sitting in my chair. She never does this. And on the one time that I'm sitting here being open and vulnerable and raw with you guys about what I'm experiencing, she's, like, right here, like, guarding and protecting and, uh, and absorbing, transmuting. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you share with me and those that this message is for that need to hear this message, Spirit? And we have deficiency. So it says, as you reflect on the past, remember that everyone has experienced highs and lows. Comparison may only add to the feelings of deficiency. Let go and move on. And see, that's another thing too. Like that's what I was experiencing. Like I've been experiencing those lows. I've been, you know, also not only the situation that I had with losing, you know, someone that I considered a really, really good friend. Um, and sometimes our emotions and our love for people can blind us and we don't, and we do get caught off guard you know, when that, when we have love for, for people, but that's another thing too. It's like, I have been really, um, comparing myself 
as well. Like thinking, well, if I was this or if I was that, then maybe things would improve or maybe things would be better. Or like even feeling bad because like my, my, um, readings don't get a whole lot of views right and so I felt well maybe people just don't resonate with me or maybe they just don't want to get readings from me um maybe like this or that like really just just feeling sorry for myself basically you know and um but but that still doesn't change the fact that I'm so passionate about what I do and there's no way that I could just stop you know doing these readings here for you guys like I absolutely love it I love being able to like like work on YouTube like it's been a, a dream of mine to be a reader on YouTube for such a long time so there's no way that I could stop doing this so it's like you may be at a place where you're going through some sort of challenge here and and just been kind of experiencing some highs and lows and um you know kind of uh these feelings of deficiency, feeling as though you're lacking in some area, maybe comparing yourself to, to certain people or individuals, even if it's just like, you know, the way you look or like your clothes or your car or something like that. Maybe, um, maybe you wish that you could achieve more. Maybe you wish to, overcome fears and 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 achieve more than than what you're currently at and so compare in the book it says comparing oneself to what may have been and what others might have always results in suffering and that's true when you compare yourself like i have compared myself to these readers that get you know um hundreds or even thousands of uh, views on their readings and I'm like wait so this is I have to remind myself constantly this is not why I do it this is the ego that's trying to cause me to second guess or doubt myself but I'm still human you know and so those thoughts do arise and so this is spirit just kind of reminding me and anyone else that this message is for that you don't have to compare yourself. All that's going to do is cause even more suffering. You focus on what it is that you do love, you know, like don't look back, put an end to checking your rear view. Or like, if you're like me, stop checking, constantly checking to see if people are watching your videos, stop constantly checking, you know, your progress and just let go and surrender and just do what you love and not worry about the other things. So maybe, um, the spirit is saying like, overall you've done well, like overall you're doing great. So remember that the past is water under the bridge. Let go. You are being held back by this ongoing sense of inadequacy or self-worth. So that's that, that I definitely resonate with that. You are being held back because like even though you may really want something which is something that we mentioned I mentioned last night as well you may really want something but there's this lingering voice of inadequacy somewhere within the subconscious that causes you to check this or to check that or to wonder how well you're doing or you know how other people are uh, perceiving you or comparing yourself to other people and so that 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 is you know holding you back that sense of inadequacy or these underlining fears or this low self-worth this low self-esteem that maybe you're having so like maybe like you really 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 want to pass some test right and it's like you want so desperately to pass this test you know for school but then you keep you you have all these this low self-esteem this fear of inadequacy and so that causes you to ultimately fail the test no matter how good you are no matter like how amazing you are at what you do and you know the answers and you really really want it those that insecurity and inadequacy is what is called bringing that energy to cause you to fail the test so to speak you know so spirit is saying like if you're still here living and breathing 
then it all happened as it should have. Everything, even being held back by these inadequacies, even the feelings of inadequacy, all of those, it's happening as it should be. But now you're hearing this message because Spirit is saying like that, that those feelings, that kind of tug of war between your mind and your heart is what's holding you back. Although maybe you feel like things could have been handled better. They also, things have also had the potential to go far worse than they actually have. So even though like you wish, you know, oh, I wish I could do this over or wish I could, you know, done better or I wish I could do better. These spirits like, look, you could kind of flip that too and think, well, uh, you could really just be far, far worse than you are now. Like, you know, so being in this place of gratitude instead of inadequacy or deficiency, you know, you're never going to be able to take control and constantly be ceding your power to some unforeseeable force unless you face the truth. Face the truth. It's time to take charge and face the facts. The fact is the past could not have happened any other way. Understanding that the past is unchangeable, it is the first step in forgiveness. It's time to move on. And again, like you guys, my ex-husband is a, is a cop that has a family with money who took my babies from me. I was a stay at home mom and homeschooling my two boys and breastfeeding my daughter. No criminal background, you know, was a good mom and they got my babies from me. And my life spiraled out of control after that. And I blamed myself so much for everything for my addiction, which by the way, you guys, I'm this October will be eight years clean. So, um, but I kicked myself and kicked myself for, for allowing them to take my children, which I really had no control over because my husband was a cop and he knew the judge and his dad, a Freemason and all of the things. So of course they got my babies, but if I hadn't have gone through that, if I hadn't have lost control and went into that addiction, I never would have faced my fears, overcome my addiction, and embraced the gifts that I ran from for so many years and went on this long, beautiful, dark, scary, wonderful spiritual journey. And everything has happened as it should. And the universe has been in control the entire time. And so now the universe is saying to just face, it's time to face these other demons that, that plague us and to remember how truly amazing and wonderful we really are and to stop giving away our power so this is just a quick message i wanted to do for us i feel a lot better i don't know how you feel but please let me know if any of this resonates and if you guys could just leave me a like and a comment and if you're subscribed, you could potentially win a free 30 minute reading. I'll be choosing the winner either Monday or Tuesday, which my birthday is on Tuesday. So I'm, I'm thinking about uh, doing another, like choosing an extra winner, um, you know, to kind of celebrate my birthday. Um, but, uh, but it, it won't be as long as the 30 minute reading, but anyways, all you got to do is be subscribed, like the video and then comment. But when you comment, make sure that you either leave a crystal ball emoji, a heart emoji, or like a, like a hands up or waving emoji, because those are going to be signs to me that you are open to receiving a free reading because I don't want to choose someone out of the comments and then them be like, oh, I was just commenting. Like, I really just don't want a reading. I don't want to put anybody on the spot. So leave me one of those three emojis. So I know that you're open to receiving. And if you guys just want to send love and light to me, I'm sending love and light to all those who want to accept it right now. And the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.